All right, we're live. What's going on? What's up? Matt Harris in the building. Hey, we had yeah. to run and get a charger. So StreamYard don't kill his uh his battery on his phone. Uh we're doing a late night with Maz and, and uh guests. Um man just chilling tonight we're going to show y'all how to do some of this uh i came across messing with these links a little bit uh about being able to do a little bit more with them if you have like a higher articulation build you know like uh if uh if you want to do a lot of travel you know um oh we got people in here what's up uh double a day we got um Super one-handed RC, what's up? Scott from New Zealand, my man, going down. What's up? And Ram Bob. Ram Bob, what's good? Um, if y'all haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to a thousand. Uh, I think we're at like 960 or something like that. Oh man. So, so hit that like button for me. Helps me out. Uh helps people see more information we can put out there for people. So um but uh we got matt harris in the building uh he's chilling with us tonight uh hell yeah guru in the background guru's rc back there running around trying to get a setup done for the past 30 minutes uh <laughs> he getting it knocked out though uh but uh yeah man we just chilling and uh i was gonna show y'all so um on these links, Let's see, let me swap my camera real quick for you guys. <clears throat> Try not to back out of here because you know I'm real good at doing that too. <laughs> Take uh, your time. Yeah. <laughs> Think about. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, not mirror it. All right. All right. Let me get this on the uh, solo. <laughs> solo all right guys sorry i have to do it this way to be able to get enough um enough uh clarity or focus out of the camera but um so good basically you see what tool i got back here body rumor i guess you can think about what i'm already going to do so if you, you put a rumor hole yeah man <laughs> So these links, when you get them, let me uh, see if this will work. <clears throat> so these links, let me get a little out of the shadow here. So when you get these links, get a little light, a little light of mine here. I wish I had a little flashlight. But when you get these links, you see that little rib right there? Can you see that, Matt? Yes, I can. See that little yeah, but... Ridge little ridge on circle. top of there. Yep. So the back's pretty flat, right? It's real right. sharp in there. Back door board, that's right. Uh then uh so you can imagine what I'm gonna do. And it don't take, take much. So y'all get a couple extra links, and you don't have, let me be very clear about this. You do not have to do this. This is not necessity. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we can't leave well enough alone a lot of times, right? Hell no. Can't leave so alone. This is going to apply more to guys that have a very high articulation, double barrels, whatever. You know, I know that these links fit everything, right? So they're not made specifically for the cheat code. They're made for any SCX24. They'll fit anything. Uh, nice misalignment, you know, rod ends, two different styles. Um, you know, all that good stuff. So, all we do is take this little reamer guy. I almost suggest putting the links together first. But, as long as you're careful, you're not going to do anything bad. But I just hold the link right there. You can't see it. But, um, I just very lightly, the weight of the tool, I start to spin it. I might have to come off camera to do it. But, Whatever literally... Only thing I'm doing is taking that little nib off. Oh, your little yeah, ridge. I'm gonna pull it off camera, and then I'm gonna show y'all how little of amount of that I took off. Yeah, taking that little step basically off of it. Mm-hmm. 
I don't even know if y'all be able to see this, but I dropped half of it. So all I did was take that little nib off there, right? Right. That's all I did. And I'm going to just go in here and clean it up. You can look at it real close and see it. And you don't have to get that whole nib off. Just a little bit. Just the hair. There's there's another little bit that I got off of there. So very little. You know what I'm saying? It's very little. You're talking about, I'm going to show you how much total that I'm taking off. I dropped a couple little tiny pieces about the same size. Maybe one little tiny piece. And then I'm going to do the back side just for good measure. The back side, all it's doing is putting a little chamfer. There's still a ball there that is going to give you, you know, the inside of that rod end is ball shaped, the negative of what the ball is. So put that little piece there. That's the back side. I dropped one other little piece to it. When you snap this guy back in on the table, because they snap in pretty easy. So this does not make it any rougher. These are still very smooth. So very smooth, very free. But all it does is it allows you to now see how that flat edge bottoms out now i'm on this is all this is all i took off i mean maybe there was one little tiny speck maybe this size or the one that just stuck to my finger right here wherever that one went um but anyway that's all i took off and it takes me way longer to show y'all because i want y'all to understand what i'm doing but um basically we'll get rid of this mess so you can see it got that sweet what's up there, you know? uh but all that just did was make it now where that it goes, it swivels all the way to where it stops by bottoming off or bottoming out on the, on the, the flat, link. on the flat to where before it was bottoming out on the edge right here on the top side of this ball it was bottoming out right where the ball meets that straight piece now it'll bottom out up here well it's only because of the mold process there's no way to fix it there's no um there's no issue with it like i said um for your average guy building a build you'll get all the articulation you need this is only for the guys that are going to use double barrels a ton of articulation um that's what's gonna that's what this is for so if you need to just a little bit more articulation, this this helps that ball move about another millimeter maybe each way. So um, you can see it on, I've done a few of them already off camera, but they're all the same. They all bottom out on the flat now. See how that flat's touching that plastic? It's no longer, if I put one together, let's see. I got one right here I haven't done. Oh, you haven't? I got one right here. I would just pulled off off camera because it's from another batch, but it's the same length. Uh, so when I put this one together, oh, it's going to be hard to see on camera. But when I put this one together, it doesn't actually bottom out. See that gap? Can you see a little tiny gap right there? It's about a millimeter. I've put a I've put a um, filler gauge in it earlier when I was testing it, but it's about a millimeter that it you actually got millimeter filler gauges. Yeah. Damn. Uh, so you um you gain just that little bit, but you gain it both ways too. So what you gain on the left side of your chest, you gain on the right side of your chest. So, like I said, it ain't it isn't for everybody. It's going to be for guys. I've not had anybody question it, but I just was thinking today and I was like, man, I wonder if I can just nib that little thing off there. And sure enough, your little body reamer works perfect. Like nice. just be easy with it. I would suggest if you are one of these guys that need to do this, what I would suggest, get all your links put together the way that you know they need to go. And I have directions on the website that are very easily followable. You can follow them very easy because I, I tried to word it as cleanly as possible. But all you're going to do is put your links together, take whatever couple little links that you have spare and test one. 
you're basically going to see. And it doesn't make it not snap in any tighter. It snaps in just as tight. You're just ta taking that. Um, Can't like I said, it's from, the, it's from the injection mode. There's nothing wrong with it. But you're just taking, I'll show it one more time. This is another link. You see that little double range? A, double A day says 43 millimeter long travel. Not yep. much for double arrows. So that yep. probably yep. apply for, for him. Comments. Uh, yep. We got a that's what she said. We got RC boy in the house, little Maz in the house. We got a Facebook user. I don't know who you are. If you're on Facebook, tell me who you are. Uh, yep. For sure. The. Uh, Double A, what's up? Anthony Barto, what's going down? LGRC. Uh, let's see. Is that LGRC? Is that who I think I is? No. Or no. No. Never mind. Okay. Wrong one. Yep. Wrong uh, one. We got Scott in here still. <laughs> yep. Double A, he's big on the double barrel, or he's not big on double barrels. He likes the 43 long travels. Uh, I know that the 43 long travels are out of stock right now, about everywhere. Um, really? I tried to find a set for a little Enjora buggy build that I got, that I got, uh, I bought one of them little Enjora buggies and that's oh, what I want nice. to do with it. Um, but oh, just, God. that just shows y'all, um, you know, if you've got to get just a little bit more out of them, it's there, you know, and I do the backside the, about the same way just to make sure that there's no burr back there, but really on the backside of all of them, I haven't seen any issues. The backside meaning, You'll you'll see it. There'll be like I said. You'll see the difference little, between the two. Burr on top of this guy versus this one being dead smooth, and there's actually a little chamfer there. So it just comes from the molding process. There's not like I said, there's nothing wrong with it. Works perfect on every build I've done. I've done about five sets of them so far. This is going to be set number six that I'm putting together. These are going to go to uh, Corey at GNCRC. Um, I'm going to throw them joints together for him. Um, but I had a lot of guys asking about how the movement was. And if you've had Enjora's, um, the complaint from most people are the rod ends are inconsistent. They'll be very tight. The balls don't move very easy. Um, these, they snap in super easy. They move super easy. There, there's nothing to it. It moves super clean um they're all very consistent so um you know you're not gonna have the, any issues with these um like i said i'm just telling you hey if you're going to a crazy like um if you're going to a crazy amount of move or you know amount of articulation you're probably going to want to try to get as much out of them as possible on freeing them up with that side movement like uh, a uh, 58 millimeter shock yeah G. Carter, what's going down? Appreciate you joining in. Uh, let's see. Keep the questions coming, guys. If y'all have any questions, we'll talk about anything tonight as well. Um, that's pretty much what I wanted to go over on the links. I just really wanted to do it for the guys that were asking that haven't bought them. I've had a bunch of customers on Facebook tell people answer for me, which I appreciate all y'all that do that too, that have, um, that have the uh, experience with the product. So I appreciate all y'all doing that for me and helping me out. Um, I try to keep up with answering Facebook, Instagram, emails, um, everything, you know, uh, website, um, web website requests, all different kinds of stuff. So I try to keep up with y'all. I think I got somebody in the background. We got Barto in the background. Oh shit, Barto, what's good? Yo, what's, what's going that? down? What's going on, man? Just living the dream. Trying to, uh, was a little bored and wanted to come on here and dang chill for a little bit. All right. So I finally got a day off tomorrow, so early weekend for me. Hell yeah, that's what's up. Can't beat that. No, sir. Um, I, I got the, that luxury uh, last week. <laughs> say what? I said I got that luxury last that week. Nice. <laughs> yeah, dude, I put fucking 56 hours in in like four days. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, use one o ring. Yeah, so the LGRC, these, these links do not use any o rings. These uh, these snap together. Um, you don't have to mess with o rings. That would be the equivalent. Matt, of what... your son is talking to you. Huh? Your son is talking to you. 
I can't do it, RC boy. I, I can't even back out to do it, man. I, it'll end up booting me. Um, the um, I'll get you on here on the next one or, or on the offline with us one day. Um, but uh, on basically what on LGRC talking about removing an O-ring, that's what he's doing. Um, he's he's doing the same thing. The only thing with removing O-rings, you start getting a lot of loose movement on just static, uh, you know, just normal movement starts getting a little wobbly, you know. Um, so the wobbly balls in your link holes. Yeah. So the tighter you can keep the, that suspension you know, in place, the better it is. You don't want a bunch of floppy, whoppy jaw stuff, you know? Um, floppy balls. I do understand it for those, like I said, this is mainly for the um, guys that are going to run double barrels, um, very, you know, big long travels, um, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, um, I don't even know all the shock sizes, but if you're a 39 millimeter down or even a 43, 43. millimeter a 43, 43 48 fine. yeah you get up into 48 50, 58s or whatever them i think they even got 54 i've got 54s on one of my monster trucks i think 54s yeah. i got 40 and then on my c10 58s uh -oh. is the biggest one so far but um i haven't seen so anybody yeah. put those on yet i'm just <laughs> trying to get the information out there um, that way it'll save people from putting the links together first and then figuring out that, Hey, I need some more articulation. Like I said, everything I put them on, I've not had a, pro I've not had to do anything like this, but, um, I had a bunch of guys asking about the movement of them, different stuff, because I think a lot of people got the enjoyers expecting them to, uh, be, you know, they are a nice link, but I think some of the stiffness in that ball ends the downfall. You know, that's what she said type deal. Um, <laughs> the uh, uh, Double A said, what's up, Guru? What's going on, Double uh, A? The, uh, you got them uh, portals, uh, Barto? Oh, he must have bailed on me. Hey, the, Yo, uh, <laughs> yeah, I did. My bad. I was on. <laughs> uh, hey, I, I didn't think about you walking away. Um yeah, I seen you putting them portals up there. Um, I'm working on them. Uh, I just got a lot of stuff in line right this minute, and they took so long to try to get me an order to begin with on uh, on the second order that I kind of just had to put it on the back burner for the time being because I got I got a lot of stuff I'm about to do. So, um, what do you think about this mess? Man, I, like, I like that man with them like gills, that. baby. Yeah, they look good, man. They look good. You got lucky; them things sold out, bro. Did they? They gone. They gone. Yeah. Uh, I was yeah. like, yeah, I had to grab a set before they're gone. Um, Outpost RC, what's good? Facebook user, what's up? What's up hey, if you're a Facebook user, <laughs> don't see Facebook tell us who you users. are so we know who's in here. Uh, or right. you don't have to. You can stay anonymous as well. It's not, uh, you know me. I don't, I'm not here to judge. Uh, Hell no. Let's see, all I know is I'm excited to try out your links when I put them on my put my Excel together. That's what's up, Double A. I appreciate all the support, my man. He's always supporting. Um, I think he was probably one of the first one or two people that jumped on that deal that I ran last month. Um, getting the, the XL. XL links with the or XL. getting the XL links with the XL for free. Um, so hell of a deal. Yeah, it was a damn deal. Twenty five bucks off basically your order. So. Um, but uh, Guru's got him a couple new trucks over there. He's got him a couple Broncos. He had to get Mister and Mrs. on there. Uh, he got he got two Broncos. Uh, Mark Mark McKelvey's in on here from the uh, Facebook. What's up? Uh, yeah, it's definitely on YouTube as well, Mark. You can go in there and uh, come in from that way as well. Uh, I just put it on the group just so anybody that sees it knows that it's going on. Um. And I had to get a, I had to get over there with Mark one night and get on there with him. He's got a sweet course, man. That mud's got a killer course. Uh, Is that the guy that has the pancake <laughs> motor you were talking about? Uh, uh, cheat code. Say what was it? The Mofo pancake motor. Did you guys were yes. tuning in? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yes. I've seen. And some he of just those finished videos. a little hobgoblin body, or I don't know what body it is. It's got a bed on it. <clears throat> It looks like a hobgoblin, but it's got a bed. 
I don't know. But he's got oh, that yeah. body, and he did a he did his first little tape job on his body. Did some uh, stripes and stuff, and it looks it came out really cool. The color combo is real cool with it. Um, oh, RC RC boy said me <laughs> oh, not man. judging his BS, but <laughs> RC boy you better watch that mouth. <laughs> you already ain't already treading lines already. You ain't old enough to be cussing. Uh, I appreciate you, Double A. Yeah, I try to I try to give back when I can, man. Try to uh, get them get some deals out there. Um, so, uh, but we got all chassis back in stock. Uh, links are all stocked up, ready to go. Um, everybody been buying them mugs up like crazy. So, grab your links before they're out of stock. Sea bolts going fast. I didn't realize they were going to go as fast as they're going. So. Hey, you were testing the waters. You were like, hey, well, well, let's back. see. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's crazy. So, hey, also in the comments, if y'all want to see different combinations of links put together, I don't really want to. I'll be straight up with everybody. I'm transparent as can be. I tell this to everybody. You ain't going to hear me be yes, you. So, um, not about not about what I got going on, but I'm going to. I'll be straight up. I'm probably not going to do uh, singles. You know what I mean? It ain't going to be like Enjoy where you buy two of each one, which sizes you want. It's not going to be like that. It's just too much, too many SKUs. It's too much to, too much, too many SKUs to sit there and mess with trying to keep it in stock. Um, so I know a lot of people like that double or that uh, deadbolt rears with C10 rears for like some buggy stuff and all that. Y'all tell me in the chat what y'all like, um, what y'all want to see. Um, I'm not going to do all of them, but I'm, I'm probably going to do like a, I'll probably do a C10 and a deadbolt rears, both rears, um, together. Um, and then, you know, I always tell people at 25 bucks with steering links, man, you can't, I mean, you can still buy them and, uh, break, own. break them down. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and still for 25 you, bucks, you know, and then you got two sets there. If you decide to take that truck apart, we know how we do. We'll do one oh, truck yeah. and tear that mug down and reuse parts and do all kinds of stuff. So you ain't out nothing on these links. They're always going to be there, be be able to be used. So, Or you switch um, the whole thing over completely aftermarket yep. and a stock build, and you only have like two things that are stocked, and you got this yep. extra chassis for extra yep. stuff. Might as well use it. That's right. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you all that. It is something, um, you know, it's a cool little deal that you can do to the links to, like I said, I'm personally not going to have to do it because I don't build a lot of long travel stuff, but um, it's good that you can do it. You know, that's kind of what I wanted to show to everybody before anybody had a question or got into a part to where maybe they are putting it together and didn't know this and um, right. get it all the way together. I, I always try to get in front of the curve. I'm not trying to be behind the curve on, on trying to put info out there. So um, I do got to get my videos back up and running on YouTube. Um, We'll get that going here shortly. I'll probably do another video on it, but I wanted to get something out there tonight. Um, I had a bunch of people on Facebook asking me about the links. Um, let's see. Let me see what we got here. What are you talking about? Let me switch to YouTube. Yeah, so this is Mark Mark McKelvey. Uh, I'll have to get over there one night, and maybe we can get a, night, a late night crawl session in on live over there um but he's got a sweet little compound set up for uh his 24s it's like his whole backyard uh, yeah it's crazy man it's wild uh that'd be nice double a i'm on i i gotta get back on that build my man i just i had to run to the beach this weekend uh just got back uh the, you know early in the week and uh, i gotta get back on it my man i'm gonna probably do some wrenching on it tonight uh, once I get motivated, um, that's the hardest part about it. Now, that's it. Motivation. Get motivated, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it don't really take that much to get it from where it's at to being done. It's just getting motivated to want to wrench, um, right. you know, on, uh, and, and you know, I'm doing it for somebody else as well, which I usually don't do. And that's, that makes it even tougher sometimes. And I tell them that straight up from the get go. So they know what, what, uh, you know, it's, it's different when it's your own. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I know I'm about to finish this mug up and it's about to leave. Uh, Sometimes you like to cherish those because you put yeah. so much time into it. Yeah, hell yeah. 
Yes, sir. The yeah, I had to run down to the beach, man. Hung out with my brother for a little bit for for the weekend. That was good times. Got to spend some time with him and my pops. Uh, he lit my, my brother lives down there in uh, Myrtle Beach. So uh, we just hung out, went back down to the beach, went to some arcades and stuff, hung out, uh, ate all kinds of food, got way fatter. I got what to do on vacation, isn't it? Man, yeah. That's all I do, man. <laughs> and it's crazy because there's like a handful of spots that I have to go to while I'm down there. So it's just <laughs> every meal is like on Hell yeah. and down. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. and it ain't no crazy places. Like this one place is called uh river city cafe. And it's a damn man. It's crazy. It's this little small shack, but it's a hamburger joint, man. And it's crazy. The Mom hamburger. and pop hamburger joint. Yeah. And it's nothing like, it's not expensive. It's like 10 bucks for a, for a, for a uh, burger and fry. Uh, but like man, mugs are anything. killer, man. <laughs> I could eat that joint every day. It's so good. Damn. Uh, but yeah, your arteries be eating, be eating down you, you do that every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't keep a physique like this by not eating. Uh, you know. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, uh, what you working on over there, Guru? Yep. Your links. C10. Well, C10 links. Oh, let me go grab this little deadbolt because we all know deadbolts have the hardest time with articulation. So let's go look at that joint. Yep, putting links on the C10. Hell yeah. All right. Man, these little deadbolt links are crazy how short they are. Um, so if you got deadbolts and you just want to do a direct swap, oh, no. you have deadbolts in stock as well. But uh, this will also show you kind of how your uh, links are supposed to go. One's on the skid, on a stock skid that point straight forward and back. Uh, what I mean by that, like a cheat code skid has uh, misalignment built into it so that it doesn't tension the rod ends. But on this one, you bend out from the skid towards the wheel. And then over here, you're bending back in towards the center if that makes sense you're kind of making an s so your smooth one's gonna go on up here and it's gonna be angled one way your one you're angled with the hex it's gonna go back here and angle the opposite um on a cheat code they angle the same way this one's gonna angle the same way as this one because i have the misalignment built in here um it doesn't come with enough straights on a cheat code you could probably realistically run a straight here and be fine uh but it works either way um but still get all the articulation very free you know what i mean stop hell so still and, and the art and i say the dead bolts are some of the toughest to get to move freely because the links are so short so getting those links that short sometimes inherently they get a little bit tighter to move um, I didn't do what I just showed y'all earlier in this video with the with the reamer. Um, those were just put in straight up out of the, out of the package the way that they come. Yep. So, but if they work on a deadbolt, they can work on anything. They right. move free. You get all the suspension travel both ways. Man, it's crazy how cheap these trucks feel when they're bone stock. It is, isn't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? This thing's even got links on it, and it still feels cheap. You know, right. feel, my, it's uh, like there's nothing to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so my, these uh, are stainless steel. They're going to give you some weight. I had people asking if I was going to do brass. Probably not going to do brass. You're honestly only going to probably over a set of 20 links. You're probably going to want to only gain. I mean, I say only. We're talking about a 24 scale, so it's probably a good amount that you would gain realistically, but I don't know. I, I hate to even speculate because I'll be wrong either way, but um, I don't feel like there's a need for that much weight in your links, you know, like, uh, right. you know, there's other places to put weight and realistically, and 
I'm different than a lot of people. I don't use a ton of weight. So if you want the sauce to the mass builds, it's knuckles, front dip. <laughs> uh, Corey's in the background. <laughs> man, I don't give a shit about Corey. I'll leave him back there. <laughs> Look at the chat. <laughs> I don't care about him. Well, I look at the back room chat. He got All it. you got to do is text him. <laughs> Oh shit! I'm dying over here. <laughs> What's up, Corey? Corey, I muted him uh, so he couldn't talk after I asked. Yeah, you know, the cheat code, the cheat code is a brand yeah. diff cover and knuckles. That's it, man. Knuckles diff cover. So I try to explain this to a lot of people, but yeah, the chassis is not the cheapest on the market, but it's going to keep you from buying fifty dollars worth of brass that you're going to throw on a stock rig or. a shit let's call it even more than that because realistically if you're buying trill stuff it's 26 bucks for knuckles it's damn 16 18 dollars for a diff cover you know by the time you get done putting all that stuff on there you got a hundred dollar bill uh you know if you're really putting you know the sidebars on it and the skid and all that you just want the weight where you need it right um but, Money products uh, yes i have to finish Corey, I'm my you as soon as you two door. Oh, okay. my two door Bronco <laughs> that'll go on a carbon. I'm thinking. Uh, oh, and then I'm gonna get it painted. What you doing, and Corey? Finish that. I figured I'm you would unmute it as soon as I told you that. No, I ain't paying <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that thing still does that. Anthony was moving them frame rails up. <laughs> it's crazy that, that thing will still balance on the side with the damn link and the link the. You know, it still uh, stays on there even with the dang raised up frame rail because that does like put a little more, bit more weight out. Um, but yeah, that's a clean, that's a clean little build. Let me let me spot like that. Yeah. Uh, it's looking good. Got the little camo look to it. Uh, yeah, I like that. I told I I told him I like the back window. He told me only the back window. I was like, oh, I just comment. It was a video from the back like that, and it looked clean. It looked down. Yeah. I like how it's laid out. No, I was just right. messing Horrible. with you. I know. Uh, the uh, no, it's a clean bill. He oh, said yeah, that right. was nice. last time we seen it on there, but I knew he couldn't take it just right off of there. Well, you just got a different color. He's always he's got another body. Wow. Okay. Uh, Thing you know, I need to. Yeah. Every, so we got uh, all the all the chassis are back in. We got all that good stuff going on. If y'all got any questions about anything, feel free to put it in the chat. If y'all want to see something, make sure to dang put it down there in the chat. Hit that like button. Uh, if you want me to boot uh, Corey GNCRC, <laughs> put a thumbs up down there. Uh, and if y'all think I'm being mean to him, y'all should hear, hear how he talks to me. <laughs> he, he just, hey, see, laughing he knows <laughs> That's uh, that mug comes on here though and he he just be quiet you know and it, he plays he plays the big very well on here <laughs> you know it's true he comes on here he don't say none of that craziness that he says on the phone <laughs> people are like maz is out of control maz is giving him a hard time look you don't put a thumbs up in the comments today <laughs> 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 he said, get that man out of here he said get that man out of here uh, also y'all got the site y'all are gonna see Barto's builds up on the uh he, he's got the he's got the welcome screen if you want five dollars off when y'all see his truck pop up on there he's got a red uh he had a red uh prototype uh cheat code on a creep yeah. when you see that joint pop up Put your email in there. Uh, I don't go crazy sending emails out, so you're not going to get spam. Um, the uh, It'll just be for whenever you see new stock come in, <laughs> got new product coming out, uh, sales going on. I'm going to get away from doing all that stuff on Facebook. I appreciate all the groups allowing me to do that on Facebook as well, but there's so many places I have to send stuff out to to get everybody, you know, Instagram, all these different uh, platforms, uh, YouTube, Facebook, uh, Twitter, damn OnlyFans, all in places. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so <laughs> sign up for that newsletter. Get five bucks off your first order after signing up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So free five bucks. Yeah. 
There you go. Does that expire? Is there an expiration on No, it does not that? expire. Nope. Nope. You can only use it one time, though. You know, but we're going to have, we got discounts. They're going to be coming out in the email. So you're going to be able to use other ones. I sent some out uh, last week to all the guys that had already subscribed before I started doing this. So they got that same discount. So uh, it's welcome five if you want to use it, but please sign up for the email. Um, you know, it'll give you that code. And like I said, it does. Other codes in the future. Yeah, and you can always go in there and do it now and go buy you something later. You don't have to do it right now, but you have the code, you know. So, uh, also, yeah, I like I said wondering. earlier, we're trying to get to a thousand on Facebook. Facebook, to a YouTube. Great one day on uh, YouTube. Sorry, I, it's hard to keep up with all. Jeez, <laughs> y'all should see my email. That's right. I would rather not. JB, oh, what's going down? Might be uh, comfortable seeing that. JB threw the thumbs up. He said, "Get that man out of here." RC boy threw a bunch of. Yeah, that. No, I'm for that hell yeah. Um, but uh, y'all throw them comments down there. Let us know what y'all want to see. We got Guru over here wrenching on some dang links. Yeah, what is he working on? Guru, what are you working on? On them links. Oh, dang, I thought you were doing um, Xander's uh, called. Put them called together yesterday. Xander? Calling my phone? No, calling my name. No, I don't have anything on so, if uh, if y'all want to know anything, what we got coming up, anything like that, hit it up in the dang comments. Be uh, be willing to talk about anything tonight. Uh, appreciate everybody joining in with us. Uh, Hell yeah! You know, but uh, the uh, double a day. Matt, I Matt, do Matt have his monster trucks out last time. This time he's got his Bronco and his F1. He's got a bunch of broke down Fords over there on the screen. They <laughs> <laughs> ain't broke down. Hell no. One's brassed out and one's mass. You know, I'm she a Chevy fan. So you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One's brassed out, man. This has got hey, exactly what Maz was this? saying. You know, brass, all of this. And put them lovely sidebars and links and everything else. Your bead lock rings, yeah, like seven almost 700 right. gram rig here. Right. Hey, yeah. Matt. yeah, one thing I could say this here C10 is just like my real Chevy. I'm always working on it, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my old dependable four. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Hey, uh, so RC Boy wants me to do an FCX break, axle breakdown on a cheat code. Honestly, RC Boy, I ain't never done it, so I couldn't do it. Uh, I mean, I'm sure I can do it, but uh, I'll leave that FCX together. I don't even touch it. It's bone and stop with some monster truck tires on it. Uh, yeah. I ain't taking that joint apart, but you done it already, I thought. Tell me in the, tell me if you uh, got that thing finished up or not. Um. I will have some cheat code specific links coming eventually. Um, the uh, I'm working on that right now and trying to get the layout that I want done. Um, so uh, one thing I will tell y'all, I need to put it on the website. I tell y'all this on every live. When you get your steering link put together, unscrew your ends about a turn and a half on each side. That'll get you back to where you need to be width wise for a little toe out. If you leave them tightened all the way down, it's just barely towed in a turn and a half out on each side gives you a little toe out um so uh that will change in the future at some point um but obviously got to go through the stock we have now um they work very well they're still fully engaged you're not going to have anything tear out don't matter what servo it is this that and the third um so they are all injection molded ins so they're not going to break on you they're you're not going to have any issues out of them so um the threads even on if y'all have had enjoy links and know how their thread is these threads are a lot more substantial they're just barely smaller than the actual that card just always thought they gave that um, if you need directions on putting them together i've done a live previously putting them together also go to the website in the pictures on the product page very lined out pretty quick on there it's very easy to understand uh, I got pictures up there. Shows you exact or tells you exactly where to put each one. Uh, RC boys already got it done. You should do a video, RC boy. You do a RC or you do a, a video showing us. 
There you go. Uh, that sounds like a good idea for yeah, them. He, so double A saying you just need the correct uh, link ins for the hardware for FCX axle. <clears throat> so, um, other than that, no problem. That's what's up, double A. Uh, have you done one, double A? Uh, I don't know if he's done one or not. I'm not sure. And yeah. I do have my FCX uh, smasher that I'm working on, kind of just yeah. toying around with that. Yep. <laughs> Um, if y'all do, if y'all do, and I'm going to put this out here and tell y'all, if y'all do have the turbine wheels that's on Guru's, um, <clears throat> on the back, you know, he's got two spares right there. You know, this dude done scam me out of two spare uh, wheels. Uh, what? So, hey, y'all see the spares? what say? If y'all so need. That's where we're <laughs> huh? Look, but if anybody needs a spare, just hit me up. I have some that I pulled from. They're not perfect wheels. Uh, that Blinks. you can see, they look plenty fine. He got them out of the same batch that they're coming out of. They're just they weren't up to my standard on the contrast cut part. So uh, I have a hand. I have a handful of them. If you need one, hit me up. Once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, probably be coming back. We can. Uh, let me show y'all this. See what y'all think about these and. Uh, so let's uh let's go to man hey i wish somebody i need to hit string yard and say hey can y'all put a camera flip button on here that would be amazing right uh, versus having to go through all these little things but there's <laughs> some uh <laughs> about guru. Let's, see. let's do let's get it together so that's some um let's see if that'll show up there you go. Smoke the, break. The silver turbines. Oh, you get those. Oh. So, uh, sorry, my day. Proto type, huh? Here. The same day we was all together. <clears throat> That's your sample? Mining about the other colors that we yeah. came up with. Oh, okay, okay. okay. That was yeah, the okay. first one in the chat. Oh, yeah, okay, uh, okay. That's right, that's right. Y'all tell well, me what y'all think. Hold on. I think those look uh, good. Yeah, so... Let me see if I can flip this camera and get a better view of them. Uh, mm -hmm. They look good. I'm looking at you on TV. Yeah, I'm watching on TV. They do look good. So this is a this is a real shiny uh, silver anno. But um also working on some more scale hardware that's not going to be silver y'all tell me y'all's thoughts on that so uh, possibly right. black and zinc <clears throat> so zinc's going to be like a goldish color black obviously black can you be steel uh, man yo the man. zinc would be be legit yeah i think Positive. honestly y'all tell me y'all's thoughts on uh if <clears throat> i even need to keep I like the zinc plated idea and I like yeah. black. So yeah. either way you're not gonna lose. Well, I'm gonna do both of those, but what I'm trying to figure out is uh should I keep the silver still? I don't think I need to. Um uh I, I, I like gold. the silver because if you run like well, a dark wheel, so, uh, yeah. like the silver pops. if you run a dark wheel, they pop. Yeah, but yeah. black wheel that gold that. pops even more though. That gold yeah. on black. And it's not gold like, on black. you know, it's these almost have a slight gold look to them, but they right. don't, you know, just from the color of the material. But um, let me. Uh, I'm just giving you hell. Don't worry about me. No, nah, you good. <laughs> and I can take it with the best of them, man. <laughs> let me tell you. I know. <laughs> you know me. Uh, we can take yep, it off. Hey, pause, you know. Um, yeah. Let's see. He did. Uh, so double A. Oh, let me get a hold on. I missed out. So double A did do um double A did a FCX axle setup. Um nice. T Barnes out. Uh what's up, Maz? Just finished my carbon V2 build with WT Microbody, such a good performance chassis. Thanks. I have a recent short of the build on my channel. Performance better than my Dementor. That's what's up, man. I appreciate you, my man. Um, hey, tag me in that video. I'll be more than happy. I'll go look at it though as well. But uh, hit me on uh, Facebook or or Instagram as well, and um, uh, tag me in anything you'd like to on there as well. I always reshare. Um, I'm about to say share it in our chat. 
I'll shoot the shit with you. I'll jump on the phone with you. You can ask any of my customers. I'm quick to it. I I, I like talking. Y'all can tell that. So, um, so double A did it on his original cheat code. Still need to paint the body. Yeah. See, that's how it is. Double A. You get into the uh, man. You get into the, uh, me and Corey just was talking about it today. The build ain't nothing. The body is what takes so much time. You know, yeah. even just a left sand body painting it, you know, a single color even can take some time because by the time you trim it and sand it and get everything just pl just plush, you know what I mean? How long uh, did it take you, Bartow? Is he still there? He might not be there. He might not. Okay. He might I was one on Yeah. On the bottom of the screen. Yeah, I do that double A, but I wish they just did a camera flip button like Zoom did uh, or like Zoom or any other you know, thing does where I could just hit a quick button to flip my camera. Um, but, um, yeah, so we may, y'all tell me y'all's thoughts. If y'all want me to do another run of black turbines, <laughs> or if you want them silvers, you want, uh, you want silver, me to get both, col both colors. Both. Um, I like both. the silvers. I put them on these little comp pins because I feel like that silver's just got that comp look to it. You know, it's just a, looks like almost a raw wheel. So, yeah, I like the raw. Yeah. And this is about as close to raw as you get with actually silver. The other samples I've had of raw or of silver is more matte. These are very shiny. So, um, let's see. Kind of like the double star look. What kind of body are you putting on it, double A? Uh, yeah, like the double star look. Um, as you have coming back in four weeks, <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> I did. I don't. Hey, I don't do phone calls on Instagram, RC boy. I don't have no notifications that pop up. I check my Instagram on uh, about five, six times a day, but I don't have notifications on, or I wouldn't get nothing done. Uh, I have to go and get them in bunches. So if y'all hit me up on Instagram or Facebook, and I don't get right back to you, um, it's usually within shit an hour max. So, um, but look, they got the creep, buddy. Say what? He got creep. He got creep yeah. body. Yep. Oh, there you go. That look um, good on that's what's up. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, let's uh, go. But um, stick that Corvair that's body. All that red one. <laughs> Barton got rid of that red one. Yeah, yeah. make it. I'm about to make a new one. You got to. Oh, yeah. Another creep body. I'll yeah. My V2 V2 creep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh. But um, yeah, man, dang uh, V two creep code. That's right. That's go. right. What you got going? On? I I guess the private chat's filled up from them. Corey, <laughs> Corey uh -huh. told me I was dead. He said I kill you if you don't let me in, fat boy. You gotta tell him, y'all. Hey, how can I put that up on my <laughs> screen for them? I know they don't believe it. I didn't say that. I, I know they don't believe it. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll and then, he, then he followed up with your dad, fat boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's rough. So that's the only reason I give Corey a hard time. Right. He might be he be telling me he's gonna kill me all the time. Damn. He tells me I'm a dead man walking. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> play that victim role real well. Uh please. So I do have other SCX 24s, but they're my kids. Yeah. So I bought them for my kids. So uh, my stepdaughter, hers is a C10 stock. She hasn't done anything to it. My boy, he's got the deadbolt. I've done some things here and there to it just to make it a little bit better for him. Yeah. And then that Bronco, you, that Bronco you have is a cheat code, but what'd you end up doing with the damn one that got ran over? I've still got it. Have you did, finished it? I have not. Yeah. That is going to go on a cheat code. Yeah, hell yeah. Because I got a custom body All about that is those. basically going to be my replacement. You get the one from Jay? Yeah. Or the, or the Bronco? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, that little chop cab. That's going this. I kind of made up my mind finally. This is going to be on a V2 carbon, carbon yeah. links. Or no, the stainless links. 
I'm still working on the WT micro stuff. I got to get it finished up, man. I just had a lot on my plate here the last little bit, trying to get a bunch of stuff going for you can ask uh, Corey. He uh, he tells me to just focus on one thing, but it's tough, man, because I got my br- my brain runs nonstop. So I got a lot yeah, of stuff. Just kind of just kind of screwing with the monster trucks for right now. My little my little boy likes basically. I he gets his energy worn out with the monster trucks, so it makes yeah, best him best. sleep a little bit better for yeah, me to sleep. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Smash yeah. That smash it. That's a pretty cool truck. Yeah. You got it. This guy? Yeah. Old Blue. This guy and my my buddy's place. dad used to have a truck look just like that. They called it Old Blue. Yeah, like the fall I guy. The, <laughs> I got the link set. Be- from Fair RC. They are a pain. <laughs> Let me tell you. They're are they? Very, uh, they're not very uh, durable. I can bend them. You can oh, yeah. bend these things pretty easily. Yeah, hmm. they're not very good. And then, I mean, they work for what they are. They yeah. just don't have any instructions, so it's kind of like uh, yeah. trying to figure out how to put it together. And then I ended up buying an aluminum axle housing for the front from uh, RC Pool Drive, which it's not bad. What's Does the anyone, wheelbase? Uh, What's the wheelbase on that unit? It's stock. Stock. It's stock. Stock RC oh, boy. Stock. Hell yeah. This is a V2. Hey, is that longer than a than a FCX? Same thing. Oh. It looks yep. long. Maybe it's just the body having that long. Well, body. see, the thing is, I took the roll bar off. That's why it oh, looks okay. different. It looks longer. Because if you got that, if you have the roll bar on there, it looks shorter because the roll bar is right here. From here to here. Corey, uh, double A says share now, that with Maz, please. Yeah, I'm texting you. Know, I think I'm talking about. Now that you got the roll bar yeah, off. Yeah, it ain't no problem, double A. It looks longer. Um, let's see. Yep, standard FCX wheelbase. Yes, it is. Standard FCX wheelbase. Yep. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I've been kind of lagging on my two-door Bronco build, messing well, with these things. Edge of Texas, what's going down? I'm wondering if anyone tried the uh, Mofo Nano Bam. I haven't. Uh, oh. Sinister has one. I think. I, and I think I got, double. Yeah. I got one. Double A ordered one. I heard it was good. Yeah, I'm sure. He's going away from the Nano Beast. Is that what yep. he's doing? Yeah, he's going away from the Nano Beast. Yeah. <clears throat> I still got to get the uh, ROP too. I drove two of those at my boy Mark's house. Uh, the the, the orange and the purple. Yeah, I uh, the orange and the yeah what ROP, the... and then I drove the orange one. What this is one's it? got the orange one. The orange one on two S is a little slow, but the, the oh, purple oh, one on two S is kind of kind of crazy. That's the cheat code. Yeah. V1 with the uh, so uh, uh, SMP. Band. Okay. <sighs> What's up? T Barn, I guess. So you got it in his, uh, I don't know how you pronounce it. He got that in his V2. Oh, okay. Bam. RC boy, I see. Uh, oh, the BAM, Nano BAM. Yeah. Yeah, I was just that wondering about the big, big RC. Works. It probably come close to working, but it's probably gonna be real long in the tail. You gonna get you gonna be tail dragging that unit. Uh, it's it looks like it's got a pretty. Good, let me see the back. Of, let me see that Max Smasher again, so I can see, so he can see the uh, see what. Maybe it's just how long the bed looks. But what's the FCX wheelbase compared to that? It's bigger though. You'd have to stretch yeah. it. Uh, I got the box. Give me a minute. And. Yeah, you probably have to stretch that thing a little bit. Let's see. According. What the fuck? Did he has one installed or haven't run it yet? Wheelbase. According uh, to the box. V2. T, Barn, T Barnes has a Nano Bam in his V2, and he said he's liking it so dinky, far. Get a dinky ESC. I was wondering how that was. Um, I got yeah, an anywhere buggy build as well, uh, AA. I hadn't, I hadn't even unpacked it. 
Hub to hub. Yeah, I want like a ripper build or a buggy build or something. Man, you need to buy that Lloyd and Jordan buggy, man. I think it's uh, good deal. Definitely good deal. One thirty nine. After I drove, after I drove that thing at uh, what'd you say it was? Um, Matt, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. You're good. No worries. One thirty nine. According to the box. One thirty nine on the wheelbase. Uh, RC board. millimeters. No. Yeah, not one hundred thirty nine inches. <laughs> uh, hey, T that, Barnes uh, has the has the Nano Bam paired with a Dinky RC or Dinky Dinky SC tuned for that motor specifically. So that's well, what he's running. Yep, one hundred and thirty nine. He said, "Would you compare it to the Gladiator? Or would you compare or Double A said, would you compare the Smasher to the Gladiator? Do you have a Gladiator? I do not have a Gladiator." Uh, gladiators are uh, one one fifty five millimeter. Yeah, you would you would need like sea boat links. I think is what you would end up needing. Yeah, so it's more of like a extended C ten wheelbase. Yeah, yeah you're gonna need dead bolt rear, C ten fronts. And that's it's definitely stuff. longer than the C tens for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe the dead bolt rears are ten millimeters longer, or something like that. Right at nine, ten millimeters longer than uh, than C tens. Uh, Nano ba Nano Bam seems as if it's a smoother version of the Nano with more torque as well. I can really, uh, I can't really compare the two because I haven't had a Nano on the Lift Pro. Um, so he's basically saying that that Nano Bam has a lot more torque, and it should. I believe it's a little bigger motor as well. Um, yeah, you would definitely want the. Uh, let's see, put that body on the Chico. Uh, RC Boy wants you to put the. <laughs> He wants to know if you can put the body on the cheat code, but you may have to take all that apart. I don't, yeah, that's up to you. <laughs> that's, that's okay. Up to you. It's all good. That's up to you. All, right. all uh, you got to do is just flip it upside down. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just show him it stacked to get side by side, like, or, you know, stack them wheels to wheels so he can see the difference. Wheels wheels. Uh, in just, wheel flip, just flip it upside down and yeah, set the go. body on the wheels. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Uh, you see, all right. Then you, yeah, then you just need the max smasher body and set it on there. All right. Uh, these clips, that's one thing I like about this smasher, man. You got these little clips. They you changed just, it. Uh just the regular clips. I mean your clips you just push in. Do they work better yeah. than what was on the other body? I don't have the version one. This is my first one and I got the V2. You haven't had a power wagon version, have you? No, no, I have not. Nope. I can't keep up with what all they're called. Um, all right. So, pretty close. Set that, mug down on, set that mug down in there a little bit. That ain't bad. Yeah, if you did C-bolt links, you'd be about dialed in. That's pretty close. That body available separately, yep. it really don't have that much hangover in the back because it looks like all the bed, the long bed makes it where it stretches all the length out in front of the wheel wheel. Yeah. Right. That really don't look that bad. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it yes, you can buy the up. body separately from Fair yeah. RC for right now. Can I put that body on the FCX? It's got the same frame rails, right? Mount yeah, you should be able to. Different place on your... No, nah, I don't mean, think it is because you got to think on the on the one with the power wagon body. Those those tab uh, holes are in the back of it. You just don't use them because there's no bed or nothing back there. Because you got oh yeah, tabs yeah, yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, you would just need the mounts and the and the body. Yeah. So I think. Body. Give me a minute. Let me grab my chassis because your guys is on the FCX. Like I said, I'm pretty yeah, sure this is the same the thing. So what? you got what your clips here. Yep. Hold on. You got what clips here and here? Yep. yep. Okay. And then there and, and you the have in the here back. and here? Yep. yep. Okay. It's all, so it's all the same. Oh yeah. You, you use you this one. Ball. Yep. Yeah. Use this one and that one. Yep. To use yep. that body. Where the other one you're using just the front four. Yeah, you're just using this yep. section. Yep. So yeah, you should be that able to. Because then on the other one, the bed snaps into the four back ones. So they must have had that already in mind before they ever made the first one without the bed. Well, somebody told me it's exactly the same thing. The only thing they did yep. was put monster truck tires on it and then called it a smasher. 
Well, I'm definitely body, gonna get that course. body then because I'm gonna just throw it on my FCX because I don't have the uh, wheels on it, right? Well, he's already got my truck on ours. Proportionate as that does, I mean, you know. I know uh, LCX was the biggest wheel tires. Yeah. That is one thing. I'm going to give me some JC Concepts old, the old golden nah, era. Like I mean, old. like the LCX, the <laughs> truck that we got, put some bigger tires on it and change the body. You got a smasher. There you go. And then yeah. you have a smasher V1. Yeah. Yep. Because you got the, uh, on this guy, you got the spring for the servo saver. So I don't. Okay. And supposedly partial bearings somewhere, and also I've got instant reverse on my transmitter if I want to or not. Yeah. But I mean, for your idea, Maz, just switching out your body to an old Ford. Yeah, because I got monster truck tires on that unit. Yeah. Look awesome. Yeah, you got white or are the shocks blue? I don't think so. I think they're the same thing. Yeah, I'm just not used to looking at them. They look longer. Yeah, I know they are longer uh, to the F yeah uh, SCX for sure. Yeah, I agree. Double A, I believe it's a hundred percent better than the Power Wagon body. And uh, uh, the shocks, I don't know about you guys, but the shocks come with an O ring kit that you oh, can put oil yeah. in them. Yeah, 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 I did that already. Okay, I put I wasn't quick, sure. put Quick Crete in mine. There you go, Quick Crete. Yeah. Uh, Hell yeah. The uh, did you get them links on there, Guru? Smoke break. The back was a no break. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Double A did the same thing you did. Clear, it's the back of yeah. smoke break. Stone Guru time again. Yeah, right. Stone Guru time again. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me let me come, let me get to you. Let me get to you. Let me get to you. Yeah. So, Hold on. Hold on. Hell yeah. Let me oh, inspect nice. your work. Yeah. So see how he has the links curving in by the axle right there, and then they should be curving out at the top. Yep. Go to the skid. Let me see how you got that skid. I got to double check your work. Yep. He got them right. So they <laughs> kick out from the skid, and then they kick back in. <laughs> Hell yeah. So. Hey, like you said, get they're made for customer everything. service right now. <laughs> they're made for everything. They're not just made for cheat codes. They'll run, they'll run them literally on any build that you're doing. So, so uh, double a day with a steering link, and that's crazy. Double a day did the same thing you did with your FCX, yeah. Maz. Yep. Yeah. Um, the uh, uh oh, how did you tires. Hold on a second. Don't look. I thought you were talking about the, the uh, about the back thing. My bad. Oh, uh, well, he had, it's got the smasher, but I mean, uh, same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you take that oh, yeah. package to the post office yet? Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> I got you though. <laughs> Something hit me up. Uh, I you know me. I get the mugs out quick. No, I know. I know. Scott got oh. Scott got his out just in time today to go to New Zealand. He he hit. He got. Damn! He bought another one. He uh, well, he bought a bunch of links and all. The, he bought a set of each links oh, and uh, servo Almost and. Good. Uh, if y'all need NSDRC servos, they're on the site. Um, you know, any of that stuff. There you Bam. go. Yeah, because uh, I was going to grab another servo. Uh, hey, you want it? Barto. Another. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. This one, got, <laughs> this one got shipped in my batch by accident. I didn't, have any, I didn't have any of the purples, but so that, I didn't put it on the website. But That's, that's mine. Yeah, just hit me up. I got you. <laughs> Well, uh, there you go, Maz. You don't have to figure out what you're going to do. I already knew it. as soon as he was talking about a servo that he was going to say that. Or and that I need, I a, I I need another. Purple. I was going to get another BC and grab yeah. some uh, C10 links. Yep. Yeah, ain't the thing. Just hit me up. I'll get you right. All right. Um, the, uh, but, yeah, if y'all need it on there, I don't have the purple and red ones. Um, I only have the black ones. Oh, one time. Uh, oh. You know, so. Yeah, I didn't want to put that on there just for one of them, so I figured somebody would end up wanting it. So, um, but uh, yeah, if y'all need any of that stuff, um, it's all on there: servo horns, mounts, BCs, uh, servos, um, servo all that mounts. stuff's on there. We're pretty good on stock right now on about everything. So uh, that's good. We got a bunch of stuff coming. So 
Oh yeah. Probably got some uh lightweight some lightweight links in the in the uh in the mix. So oh, yeah. um that should be a good one. Um that's kind of my style. I like a lightweight link, you know, like I don't the stainless are cool because they're they got some weight to them, but I, I like to keep the weight all the the only thing that makes me like a lightweight link is because the rear has the longest links and that's where the most weight is on your links. So I kind of always like a lighter weight link. Um, and then tune my other stuff, you know, with my brass for the knuckles and whatnot. And I pretty usually get a pretty good one, a pretty good, uh, split. Um, who is in here? What's up? Who is what's, what's going on? Who with? Dang, uh, G Carter been G Carter been in here every every live. Uh, appreciate all y'all coming in here. Y'all don't forget to hit that like button. You know, uh, subscribe as well. You know, we're trying to get to that one thousand. Um, Hell yeah! You know, so we're close. We just need to share it with all your dang family, friends, everybody. You know, uh, you know, have your wife go. Uh, your wife and girlfriends, your mistress, whatever it may be, you have them go subscribe. Hey, you might have multiple wives. You never know, man. Hey, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not here to judge. <laughs> B. Koshner in the oh, house. Oh, uh, wild man himself. <laughs> uh, what's up, B. Koshner? Uh, B. Koshner always coming with the fire builds. He's got man. If y'all don't, if y'all ain't seen his uh, up, channel, man. go check it well, out. And that's six by sixes. Man, that mug always got some wild oh, stuff. Coming, man. Oh, this stuff is crazy. Uh, he got some a lot bills. of time and those hip bills. He, he just did a ripper oh, ice clean, man. Uh, yep. that shit was crazy. He's always supporting. Right. He's always got a he pretty much always got a cheat code on standby. Uh you know, always got something in the works. That man right there can build some stuff though. Yeah, he, got sure. some he takes time. Yeah, he does. Right. And his videos are nice. He let, I like the way he puts them together. He puts a ton of effort into them videos. I can tell you that. And if he runs into an issue, he'll tell you. Look, the I ran into an issue. That, it's way it. <laughs> Ripper is nice. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it looks really good. I dig it. Uh, like Joe Dirt, you know, dig life's a garden dig. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try to I think it's the same one. Uh, well, I I'm, sure I'm, I'm gonna send you some. Double A. The latest better be uh, non-explicit. <laughs> it ain't this. <laughs> this <man>. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Let's see here. I don't think I can share it if I, if he's wanting me to share it. No, I don't think so. I'm sending it. I don't, send it to I don't want to do that if we can do it. Even I don't. Even I know. Well, I don't know. I know yeah, you can do it on. Yeah, I know, I, yeah, I, know I do it on. I know I do it on Zoom. I don't know how to do it on here. Hell yeah! Oh, you say you ain't following me. You're looking good, Double A. Looking good, brother. What times are those, uh, Double A? Uh, I would share it if I could, I but I can't. Little share guys it. or something, I think. Which ones are those? Oh, this mother talking about me following. Hey, Double A, don't take it personally, my man. I don't, I don't get on Instagram, but just to put posts up and talk to customers. I don't, I don't yeah. do a lot of uh, and to repost people's stuff that tag me. I don't get oh, no, you... roll or anything else. I'm burnt out after dang uh, having to check messages and everything. But I will give you a follow back. Um. What tires are the, okay? The Pro X, okay. That's what I thought. I mean, I was thinking blue guys the first, then looked again. I was like, okay, it looked like the Pro line. Yeah, uh, Pro X. I'd be pretty mean. Man, things uh, came on your side way faster than it did on me. I just now saw it pop up. Yeah, I, I gotta got show you guys something way. crazy. <laughs> Let me look at it. it just showed up. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing it right now. Nah, I'm seeing it on the you know, watch it on TV, so I don't know. Lord have mercy. Jeez. Look at them bad boys. Sheesh. Wow. Like, oh, what? Uh, yeah. So, yeah. while you got that uh, up there, Anthony, how did you use their template or did you? Nah, I just, I just freehanded it. Did yeah. You, yeah. 
I didn't get a template. I just basically cut right above the lettering. Yeah. I mean, it kind of depends on the tire, though, you know? Yeah, the size of the tire. Yeah, wherever the lettering is and how far out it is or whatever. I just wasn't sure because I seen they had a template. <laughs> I appreciate so. you double. I wasn't sure. <laughs> but yeah, dude, yeah. they're a pain in the ass. Are they? They look like they're a pain in the ass. <laughs> they, I mean, they were to cut to mount. They were actually pretty easy. But to That's get them like meaning, the cut. correct, <laughs> to get them the correct, uh, like length, basically. G mm -hmm. Carter, wait time for what? Let me know what you're talking about on that. <laughs> but yeah, I got that, and then um, that is a large. <laughs> I got this. You got this. <laughs> Thirty-four. That's all this, for your uh, Super Bill, right? Yeah, the Dementor SS. Yeah, yeah Super Builds. They were like what? One point eight what you on it? rims. <clears throat> What'd you what say, you Corey? When you start on it? Um, honestly, I'm not sure. I'm actually, like, I wasn't, I wasn't all about, like, the big wheels and, like, the super builds and stuff when they first started coming out, but now that more stuff's coming out, I, I mean, I could only imagine how, how it would perform, dude. Now, did you, I, I just, I just feel like it would be a complete animal. And then. I'm assuming you're what, using the stock foams to <clears> cut up. Yeah, actually, these are the stock foams that came with the tire. I didn't even cut them up or nothing. Just stretched them like crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, just Ooh, just yeah. literally went like this around my fingers, stretched them, and just stretched them <laughs> over the ring. I got you. I wasn't sure. But yeah, I got. Sure. And then look at these hangers, dude. Like, hell yeah. What? <laughs> hey, he wants to see that FJ body you got over there. Yeah, uh, I, got you. Does. I got you. I got you. Oh yeah, really? what's old Tuscan? Tuscan or whatever you call Yeah, Tusks. Yeah, yeah heavy as JC crap. Concept. <laughs> yeah, JC Concept. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, JC Concept Tusk. <laughs> I need to get a number of good stuff about those. Um. Yeah, I got a dag um slew of them bodies over here. I just gotta finish up all the mounts. I know you do. You got a whole herd. Yeah, I got a fleet of them <laughs> over here. Right, if y'all hadn't checked them out, go check out WT Micro. That's who makes the FJ forty five body. Uh it's super clean. It comes in like three or four pieces, so you can paint stuff separately and whatnot. Yeah, that is uh, cool. It's pretty cool. Get your you patina. Yeah, it's a it's good looking crazy. body, man. It's yeah. a, I would have to say it's probably one of my favorite bodies out there. It's down it's clean dusty. the way that it comes and everything else. It's so narrow. <clears throat> yeah, it's nice. You don't, don't even really need any like, extenders or anything like that. Mm, on dude, it. I, these are stock axles yeah. with, with I think they're like a plus two yeah. offset, but still, I mean. Yeah, no, it's clean. And no like clearance issues, design. nothing. Yeah, yeah, that's about how I'm set up right there. I have a set of tusks and they're mounted up already. Uh, they rub a little bit, but yeah, hey man, that's not, like, if you're not rubbing, you're not could, doing it right. I don't know man, know, I yeah. man, my my off road <laughs> was an XJ on some thirty threes. If you wasn't ripping the damn fender wells out the front, you weren't doing shit. Yeah, I mean that mug had a Rusty's uh, six inch lift on it, and damn that mug would tear the damn fender wells out that mug. <laughs> Tear your rocker panels out. <laughs> yeah, you'd hear that mug every time you see it. About, about three quarter turn, that mug, or any kind of flex, that mug about to dig into everything. That's where These my Bronco mug, I, is. I always laugh when people are like, man, it rubs a little bit. I got to trim a bunch of I'm like, man, shit, it rubs on a real car. What you, on a real off road rig. What you talking about? Unless it's a right. built unit, you know? Uh, no, I feel you, though, because every single one of my rigs rub. Yeah, they don't matter if they rub. Yeah, but I don't think enough. As long as it really. ain't upsetting the chassis, you know. As long as it yeah, ain't vibrating really. the damn body <laughs> and the whole chassis while it's doing it, you know. Right. So uh, yeah, I'm with you. I'm, I'm just gotta get the to get mine down as low as possible and just barely touch. Speaking of that, I think uh, I watched a Beat the Creek video. I think Hard Park's coming out with like a 10 mil axle. Yeah, we're coming out with width. some axles. 
Yeah, 10 millimeter with axle housing. Yeah. Wow. With grade Super. five titanium CVDs, I think is Jeez. what's in it. Hell yeah. And he said that they're also indexable and they're splines, so you can go from like uh, knuckle positions to get your camber right and shit. Yeah. Which 10 millimeters, holy crap. What's that little thing? Little inner roll cage I built for that oh, that's height, cool. that height Nissan body. Yeah, that's cool as shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look. You... Out of some styrene. Out of some styrene, yeah. Some like three mil or something like that. Um, yeah, pockable C hubs. That's what it was, Brian. I, I, I forgot what it. what it was. Yeah, that was. Crazy. I'd have to look at the package. Why do you need four mil? It looks like it looks got a little beef. Through but it. I got the passenger oh shit handle. Hell yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I had to get yeah. that in there. <laughs> I don't want to see the price, Brian, but on yo, those axles, man. Super strong. It's crazy. Uh, let's see. It might even... <clears throat> well, the windows are black, so it wouldn't even matter, but... All right, y'all. I'm getting off. I'm about to pass up. Yeah, we're about to take it to the offline as well. Uh, B. Koshner, anybody want to send double I'm going to send this to... Y'all hit me up. Yeah, send it to double A. Send it to B. Koshner. I'm going to get off. <laughs> Y'all more than welcome to jump in the offline with us. Uh, Hell yeah. Don't sleep as Chris hit me up. Um, but I appreciate everybody joining in tonight, man. Dang, uh, you know, I ain't trying to go too crazy long tonight. I got a lot of stuff to do in the morning, too. Um, Hell yeah. PX been working yeah. also. Yes, yeah, WT Micro Double. Oh, yeah. Let me get through these comments before we do that, though. Uh, I'll just uh, send it to you. Uh, who is I'm sending it to you, too. T Barnes says he's seen the Nano Bam as a smoother version of the Nano with more torque. Oh wait, wait, I'm way up, way up, way up. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, Pathfinders take a beating too. Any of them things with small wheel wells get beat up. Uh, let's see. Explore. <laughs> yeah, I'm. A, I'm gonna do it. Uh, I, I have them taken care of for you, B Costner. I got the FJ stuff coming. Um, the uh let's see yeah you need to get your double a definitely go check wt micro out on instagram etsy um that's where you can find the, the fj45 um he has an etsy shop um because you're talking about those axles look crazy clockable c arms uh yep easy way to swap the four-wheel steer too um Hood Wiz, I'll send it. All right, will you send it to him? Uh, already uh, sent it to him. I appreciate you. Well, I'm uh, yeah, off, I would appreciate you, Mark. Hey. Hit me up. All right, I try to get out there this week and chill with y'all. All right, Corey, uh, have a good night, brother. Yeah. Corey, right. be have good. a good night, Corey. All right. Everybody, be good. Appreciate y'all coming on. Hey, y'all hit that like button, subscribe, uh, send it out to everybody. Appreciate Tell your you. mama's mama's mama's. Your mama's mama. Elliot. Your, All in -laws. Right, your in laws in law. Peace out. <laughs> Later.